the undersecretary. It's my understanding that because the undersecretary's position is not filled, even with the creation of this lieutenant colonel position, we're still at a net a net savings. That's to better correct. clarify, the difference between the salary of, um, from the exiting undersecretary um, and the increase received by Lieutenant um, Colonel Starnes, uh, the, the agency is saving about a hundred thousand dollars a year in salary. Okay. Um, I think that's it for right now. And I'm certainly not here to shoot the messenger, but uh, my question. Is I'll just make the comment that I left this meeting with the impression that there would not be a raise given to this particular individual in this change. Now, I'm not saying that was an intentional misstatement, but that was my impression of the way that trans that went back and forth. So I just wanted to make that statement. It seemed like he would have appeared here and maybe explained that himself. I actually don't know where he is. I don't think that he's here in the state. I'm not sure about that. I'm all fair to die. I invited me. They said there'd be no increase. And what Rich is down there doing is putting the best face on this being deceptive and giving dishonest testimony to this commission. That's an absolute falsehood, and I take offense to that. I asked right. the question. I listened to the tape. You sat up here months ago saying you remembered exactly what was said. Exactly. I had the tape sent to everybody, and I just repeated it word for word. You want to go in the back and listen to the tape and listen to the question I asked? Because I know the question I asked. I've already heard the tape. The man well, said obviously you're here with no tainted increase. ears. I know the question I asked, Look, and I'm not trying to put a best face on anything. I'm trying to say the tape went out to everybody. That's right. Public yeah. information asked for it. So and guess what? Exactly there were what other there were other commissioners on this board that were angry with me for putting that out there. So, am I hiding from the truth or is somebody else? The tape is a tape. The question I asked was a question I asked. So don't sit down there and insinuate I'm, I'm trying to put the best face on something when I've gone above and beyond to have meetings with this young lady to get to the bottom of this. What have you done other than pontificate for the press? What have I done? Yeah. I've tried to keep some integrity in this, this commission, and there is none. Oh, well. There is none. Yeah, nobody has character on this commission but you, you, sir. Ever you came on this board and you came on it with an agenda, that agenda was fulfilled last meeting when Kathy Dearborn resigned from this commission because of the harassment and the crap that she was having to put up with since a state trooper was TDY'd to Baton Rouge to hang around her office every day and to find fault with her. And in fact, he said it at a public meeting and he was going to get rid of Kathy Dearborn and he even made comments about me. Troopers who were at that meeting filed a grievance or at least they wrote a letter to the uh, legal counsel here or to the commission saying, here's what the man said at the meeting. He followed through with that. He, he lived up to my low expectations of him, and he managed to have this commission stuffed with people who want to endear themselves with state police management, could care less about the civil service function of this board. The Louisiana State Police Association is absolutely helped destroy this commission. The civil service board that protects them now in the future, when a trooper on the road runs into a problem and he feels like management is out to get him, he's going to complain to this board. This board is going to see that that information goes directly to management and that trooper is beat before he starts. He doesn't have a prayer. Well, that just destroys the civil service standing of this board, and I just cannot believe that people who sit here don't have enough judgment and insight to be aware of that. It makes me angry. It makes me angry. I have 55 years of law enforcement, law enforcement education. I know something about what is integrity and what is not. And wanting to go to the Christmas party is more important than holding management accountable. And people, it's going to come back to haunt you. The only salvation for this commission is to be dissolved and the Louisiana Civil Service Commission to take over the oversight 
of the state police because right now we have no oversight whatsoever of the state police. The colonel of the state police can do anything he wants to. He can lie. He can do anything, and he does plenty of it, and nobody holds him accountable. Everybody runs from the truth. I said, how many of you heard him say it? And it was like a group of sheep. Nobody would even admit the man said there'll be no increase in pay. And yet there is, and here we go through this dance trying to justify what Because you're wrong. Said. That's not what he said. Your wonderful pontification for the press notwithstanding, that's not what the man said. Where do you get this for the press? Uh -oh. well, because that's what you do when you're pontificating for the camera. Why don't you listen to the tape and listen to what it was said? I'm the one that asked the question. I know the intent of my question. And for you to sit up here and act like you're holier than now, the only one with any integrity and character, is insulting to everyone else sitting here. I may not be the only one with any integrity and character, but I'm the only one who's showing any. Why? By misquoting what was said after you were sent the audio recording? When you, when you attack and destroy a young woman's reputation... I'm sitting here having a conversation about storms. Low life. And if anybody that joined into that lynching of Kathy Dearborn has no character, and I'll stand by it. Last I checked, she resigned. She resigned because yeah. she was told she was going to be fired. How, how is that? People. How is that? How is she told she's going to be fired? When the uh, case wasn't even their put on. Mouth and telling her she was going to be fired. Last well, time I checked, there's seven votes up fired. here. Why don't you, why Not you one. Say, why don't you say who, who, who said, made that statement that she would get fired? I no, want you to that, say it. That will come. I out. want you to say it. That will. Come now out. say it now. I'm telling you. You bring up a lot of stuff. Out out you have nothing to back it up with. You have, you bring you bring stuff here. You call state police crooked, and you have no no documentation. Not state police. You did. People in the state police, particularly management, yes. Well, say management, don't say it's state dishonest. police. Dishonest. I, I have as many friends in the state police as most people sitting here. Oh, bless I you. put over 25 young men that I taught <coughs> in Louisiana State Police. And when you think Grafton don't know what's going on in the state police, you have underestimated my ability to talk and get information. I think we've got.